Hey there, fellows. So right here we have a nice old Subaru. And there is this common theme with these cars. With people reminding owners about cylinder four bearing knock and so on, that lot tends to check their oil frequently. They must be pulling all of it out with their dipsticks. And so I've got me this manual counter right here. And the idea is to check and see whether you can... Um, use your dipstick to extract a lot of motor oil. <laughs> Scary to imagine how long that might take, but no worries. This is exactly what we want to do, so let's get to it. All right, let's do a baseline check, shall we? Okay, the oil level is precisely at the max mark. The dipstick is dripping, but we're at max. So it's got exactly the amount of oil that is required. So how much oil is the dipstick going to remove then? We got one drop right here. Some oil has stuck to the dipstick. So enough trolling of the Subaru owners on account of oil checks leading to insufficient oil level. Let's commence our oil checks that are going to continue until the oil runs dry. This is going to be a really fun procedure. Can you imagine how many rags we're going to need? We'll stick to using just one for now. <laughs> this is going to require a bunch of reps. I'd say maybe a hundred thousand? And after our first hundred times, I think we should pause and see if anything has changed. And so after we've checked the oil a hundred times, I remove the dipstick. And from what I can tell, the oil level hasn't changed in the slightest. Next time we take a break will be after 500. And I think I'll let someone else do the honors. Day one. Not bad. Though my shoulder is starting to act up. But you haven't even gotten to 100 yet. I guess it's time to ring it out. So every hundred oil checks we're wringing out the rag. Because while well, it becomes very wet, meaning it won't wipe all of the oil off of the dipstick, leaving some of it on there. 300 times. <laughs> All right, so if we look at the counter, we have checked the oil in this engine a good thousand times at this point. And in here you'll see... It's hard to tell for sure, but I'd say it's at least 150 grams. And we haven't wrung out the rag. But let's have a look and see what's up with the oil level. See how much lower it has gotten. I don't see any problem in a bit dripping off. It has barely even decreased. It has dropped slightly, but only maybe by about 4 millimeters. I expect this process to take a little while. This might be pretty painful, but I'm still interested to see how long it takes for us to make some sort of dent in the oil quantity. Let's carry on then. Day one. This is a crazy idea. It'll take forever. I don't understand why you'd even do this. You're pulling out a fully soaked dipstick in the beginning, but then the amount gradually decreases until you're pulling out drops. The further we go, the less oil there will be. Have they forgotten to take their meds? What's up with this? Best job in the world. 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 How many more times will they need to do this? I think... About 20,000 times? I think about 10,000 times. Last time I checked, they were at like 1,300 or something. So 10,000 times will be enough? I think so, yeah. I'd say... 8,500. I 
I think the car will rot quicker than we change the oil using this method. So after checking the oil 2000 times, that's by how much the level has dropped. We seem to be getting somewhere. As in we are slowly removing oil from inside the engine. And that is very good. Interesting video so far? Well, make sure to sub if you don't want to miss more experiments like this one. Now, we're obviously not going to stop at 2000, so... Let's carry on. I am so tired of these repetitive movements. In, out. My shoulder is numb. The rag in my hands are covered in oil. Ass is covered in soap. No, I'm kidding. So we are at 3,333. Stick it in once more. Come on, one more time. We are at 3,333. And this is by how much the oil has dropped. And so if this is the difference after 3,300, then we lose this much, this much again, and we need to do this another... I don't even know. It'll take at least another 5,000 times to get down to minimum. Day 2. Okay, we're at an interesting part of the process. We've checked the oil 5,000 times at this point. Yeah, this car's oil has definitely never been checked this many times in its lifetime. I mean, I don't even think I've done this many oil checks in my life. But then who's counting, right? Anyway, let's have a look. What are we looking at? You know what? I think we are looking pretty good here, even. Look at how much oil we've extracted from the engine. I'd say we're about halfway between the minimum and maximum marks. This reminds me of those videos where somebody is doing the same thing over and over again for 10 hours straight. I recall mentioning how much self-hate is needed to do this to yourself. But yeah, this is a similar sort of thing. Again, if you missed that one, make sure to sub to keep up with these sorts of uploads of ours. Day 3. But we're not gonna stop just yet. The goal, of course, is to get from maximum to minimum and work out how many times you need to check the oil in order to get there. Despite all of the blood, sweat, tears, and grinding teeth, we're gonna keep right on going. Let's carry on. Day 4, 5. We have decided to take a break at the 7000 mark. We have checked the oil 7000 times, which was not an easy thing to do. But let's check our progress, shall we? Okay, this is... Certainly interesting. We can almost see the lettering at the bottom of the dipstick. You can almost see it. And it would look as if we need to do this about another... I don't know... 2,000 times, perhaps? But here's another thing I'd like to point out. As the oil level has been decreasing, the dipstick can no longer pull as much oil out as it did before. Well, at least you'd think that's how this would work. But in reality, it would seem... things are playing out somewhat differently. As in, the oil level is dropping, but it feels as if the dipstick is removing the oil more effectively than before, which is weird. Could be because of the shape of the oil pan. I mean, it does sort of taper on its way to the bottom. Which is to say the profile is larger the closer the oil pan is to the top of the engine. But we have to keep removing oil from the pan, and we are not calling it quits at the 7000 mark. Let's carry on.
So I have asked a lot of people about this here notch, which is actually a factory thing. And uh, nobody has given me a good answer. Now apparently that's the max level on a hot engine. That's a solution they came up with at the factory. And I might be wrong, of course, but that's the information we have. But if you happen to know the truth, uh, let us know in the comments. Okay, so what do we got on the counter? 9,197. And this is how much oil we wrung out from that rag. We've preserved it, and here it is inside this canister. So yeah, that's how much we were able to extract from inside the engine. I remember coming home yesterday with my back and my shoulder aching. I was like, what's this all about? And there's the reason. How much was it? 9,197. 9,197. Let's do a couple of more for a good measure. How many? Until we see 9,200. Two more times. Perhaps 102 more? No? And that's 9,200. 9,200, excellent. Let's check the level now. And so this is what we are currently looking at. Right on the minimum mark. And so now to sum all of this up. Let's say you go 10,000 between oil changes. I mean, some go for more, some for less, of course. Let's say 50 kilometers per day. And if you were to divide 10,000 kilometers by 50 per day, that comes down to 200 days, right? That's how long it takes for us to drive 10,000 Ks. And if we check the oil 9,000 times in that period, uh, let's do the math. 9,000 divided by 200. Um, how much would that be? 45. 45, so you can check your oil 45 times a day without worrying about extracting all of it. But if you check your oil once every day, you're good to go for 25 years without topping it off. And so there you have it. If anybody jokes about you checking your oil way too often, feel free to just send them the link to this video. For them to watch and have a bit of a laugh. And so yum. You saw it all for yourselves, that's all I got for you, catch you guys later.